Dear students, in this video, we are discussing one of the important uh, application-oriented problem in the matrices for the properties of eigenvalues. You see, now the given problem is, find the matrix A whose eigenvalues are 1, 2 and 3 with the corresponding eigenvectors 1, 2, 1 transpose, 2, 3, 4 transpose, 1, 4, 9 transpose. Now what we have to find? We have to find the matrix A. Generally, if they are given a matrix A, we will find the eigenvalues and their corresponding eigenvectors. These type of the problems, they are given get examination. But some of the universities are asking in generally for long answer questions in the theoretical problems. Okay. Now, how to solve, uh, how to find the given matrix for the eigenvalues and the corresponding eigenvectors, we will see in this video. This problem we can solve in two methods. Okay. First method is, how we will, how we will find the matrix A means, what are the informations we have first you see. Here you see, in the given information, in the problem the given information, lambda 1 value they are given, the corresponding eigenvector x1 given, lambda 2 they are given and x2 they are given, lambda 3 they are given and x3 also they are given. Right. From the given data, we need to find the matrix A. Since how many eigenvalues are there? 1, 2, 3. 3 eigenvalues are there. We want the matrix A. Na? So can you guess what is the order of the matrix? Yes, order of the matrix is 3. So in this matrix, it is having 3 rows and 3 columns. Consider that unknown matrix as A is equal to A11, A12, A13. Right. Now we have to find those unknown values. How many unknowns are there? 9 unknowns are there. How we will find this one? The method 1 you see. Generally, we know that uh, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Na? So you know that uh, lambda and you know that uh, x. So what is the eigenvalue definition? Eigenvector if you want to say. Suppose lambda is said to be uh, eigenvalue or eigenvector definition. Lambda is said to be an eigenvalue of A. If it is satisfies A x is equal to lambda x. That is the one method. This is lengthy method. And the shortcut method is also there. What is the shortcut method we have? Now what are the information you know? Capital X1, capital X2, capital X3. So three vectors you know. Na? From these three vectors, can you form a matrix or not? Yes. What is the matrix name you can say? Modal matrix. The modal matrix name do, the modal matrix we are denoted with the capital P and that is containing X1, X2, X3. So if you know the modal matrix, how we can find out the matrix capital A means you require the diagonal matrix also. What is the diagonal matrix which is saying? Diagonal matrix is lambda 1, 0, 0, 0, lambda 2, 0, 0, 0, lambda 3. Have you lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 or not? Yes. So now you know what are the values you know. Matrix P you know modal matrix and diagonal matrix you know. Do you remember the formula? Do you remember that property? What we have? Yes. P inverse AP. P inverse AP is equal to what you have? Capital D. So now you see, do you know the diagonal matrix? Yes. Do you know capital P? Yes. From this P can you find out P inverse? Yes. So can you find out easily A or not? Yes. Now we will see how we are solving that one. The name as shortcut method we are given. That is a method one. You see, first you write down the given uh, values. We have lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 are 1, 2, 3. From the above diagonal matrix, we are getting capital D is what? Lambda 1, 0, 0, 0, lambda 2, 0, 0, 0, lambda 3. Okay. So the diagonal matrix will become 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 3. And also we have x1 is equal to 1, 2, 1 transpose, x2 is equal to 2, 3, 4 transpose, x3 is equal to 1, 4, 9 transpose. From the above, what we can write? Modal matrix. What is the modal matrix named as? P. Denoting with P. That is 
capital X1, X2, X3. What is X1 you write in column? 1 to 1. X2 is 2, 3, 4. X3 is 1, 4, 9. We know the property that is P inverse AP is equal to D. Now P inverse when exists. If P is a non-singular matrix, then only P inverse exists. Now check the determinant of P. How you can find out the determinant? Generally, you know the method. Now, by using the calculator, we are approving, we are finding the determinant value. You see here, the matrix, what they are given information in the matrix. In the by using the calculator, we are finding the P inverse. For that, before that, we are finding the determinant of P. You see here, first, go to the menu. In that, uh, you have like a fourth option. Now, we are in matrix. Okay, first, we have to define a matrix. P. P means here, uh, but you have in the options A, B, C, D only. So name, give name as A. So press 1. What is the order of the P? 3. How many rows? 3 rows. And how many columns are there? 3 columns are there. Now, we have to give the matrix for this. You see, how I am giving now? Already I have done this problem. That is why it is showing uh, directly. Okay? Anyway, you see, what is the matrix I have? Press 1 is equal to 2 is equal to 1 is equal to 2 is equal to 3 is equal to 4 is equal to 1 is equal to 4 is equal to 9 is equal to. Now you see the matrix P is you have. Press AC. It will be saved. Right. Now I want what? Determinant of P. Is it singular or non-singular? We have to verify means if the determinant of we, we first we need to find the determinant. If the determinant is 0 or non-zero, we have to check. If the 0, then that is singular matrix. Then P inverse does not exist. If the determinant is not is equal to 0, then it is a non-singular matrix P inverse exists. So first we need to find the determinant. For that go for options. In the options, go for the determinant. Is there in the determinant in this? Uh, no. In this. Now you check it here on the display down joystick. One more joystick is there. So press downside. Now cursor is there. Uh, press downside. Then what will be the determinant? Yes. Second option. Press 2. And uh, in the determinant of what matrix you want? Matrix P. Matrix P name, what are you given in the calculator? Capital A. So go for options in that mat A and press is equal to button. You see what you are getting? Minus 12. So determinant of P is what? Minus 12, which is not is equal to 0. Therefore, P inverse exists or not? Yes, P inverse exists. Now we have to find the P inverse. Generally, what is the P inverse formula? Adjoint P by dead P. So I have written dead P here. Now I want what? Adjoint P. What is the adjoint P here? P inverse into dead P only now. Do you know dead P or not? Yes. What is the dead P you have? Minus 12 into P inverse I want. What is the P inverse? Matrix. How can I give matrix? Means I can go for option mat A X inverse button. Now if you press, then again, uh, then what you will get means determinant matrix you will get. You see, this is the adjoint matrix. Sorry, adjoint matrix you will get. That is 11, minus 14, 5, minus 14, 8, minus 2, 5, minus 2, minus 1. This is the P inverse matrix. Now, you see, we have a P inverse AP is equal to D. Na? So multiply P on both sides. Then P into P inverse is I. AP is equal to PD. Now, now P inverse you multiply. This is A. IA, in, IA is A. P into P inverse. PD P inverse. This will become A is equal to PD P inverse. So now you substitute uh, here. Uh, A, uh, you, have, you want P value only. Na? Substitute P value. Capital D value and P inverse value. Are we done a P inverse value? Yes. Now, if I substituted, then you see what I will get means? Capital A is equal to P value is what you have? P value is 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 4, 9. This is what value? Diagonal matrix. This is what value? P inverse matrix. If I multiplied, uh, you see, by using the calculator, uh, how I can multiply it means? First, uh, we have to... We know that capital P and P inverse. But do you know what is a matrix? Are you given this matrix? No. So first we have to give that matrix. Named as another name. See first go for options. In that you give mat. Uh, first define a matrix. I am giving the name was mat B. How many rows are there? Three rows. How many columns are there? Three columns are there. So this matrix already I have done. For you I am showing. How, how you can give means? 
Uh, what is the diagonal matrix here you have? 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 3. So 1 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 is equal to 2 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 is equal to 3 is equal to. Now press AC. Now here matrix P we have, matrix D also we have. So now I want a K. What is A here? P inverse AP. So for that what I am doing means here. Sorry, what is A here you have? A is equal to P D P inverse. So I will do your first this is nothing but mat A in matrices form. What we given in the calculator? A, this is B, this is A inverse. So, go for, go for options. In that, mat, uh, first we are given this as mat A and this is mat B means options mat B. This is mat P inverse. P inverse means matrix A inverse. Matrix A means options. Mat A means plus 3. Press 3, X inverse. Now, is equal button you see. So, what you are getting? Same value we are written. Uh, we are given. So, after simplifying, uh, we will get this one. How you will get this one means, you see here, this is in a fraction form. This is in a fraction form. So, what you have to multiply with this? In this one, you can take 6 as a common. So, if you take 6 is common, you will get like this. Otherwise, you have one more option. See, we have a diagonal matrix. Now, what is the diagonal matrix? 1, 2, 3. So, what is the product of the, uh, product of the matrix? Product of, uh, what is the determinant of the matrix A means? Product of the eigenvalues is equal to dk. So, product is what here? 1 into 2 into 3, 6. So, 6 you multiplied, then you will get directly this one. Okay, now? Or else if you simplified also, you will get directly this one. This is the required matrix in this method. We can discuss in another method. That is, by using the a x is equal to lambda x for the first one. See, method 2, consider the unknown matrix as this one. Okay, uh, we have uh, a x1 is equal to lambda x1. Now, matrix a written, what is x1 vector? And uh, lambda 1 is what? 1, x, x1 vector also you are writing. Now, you are simplifying this one. Then we are getting in a, like a, a11 plus 2a1. Uh, sorry, 2a12 plus a13 is equal to 1. Like this if you multiply it, then you will get uh, ax is equal to b form. Now you have to simplify this one. For that, uh, see how I am getting. This one and uh, ax2 is equal to lambda x2 I have written. And I will get another one. Similarly, ax3 is equal to lambda x3 I have written. Then in this case, uh, I will get uh, a11 plus 4a12 plus 9 a13 is equal to a3. Like this I will get uh, 3 equations. How many equations uh, here we have? In 1, in Roman letter 1, 3 equations. In Roman letter 2, 3 equations. In Roman letter 3, 3 equations. Total 9 equations. Because how many unknowns are there uh, to find the matrix A? 3 rows, 3 columns means 9 unknowns are there. First of all you take uh, a11, a12, a13 means uh, to get a11, a12, a13 means Take uh, in a each equation uh, like 1a, 1, 1a, 2a, 3a. Then you will get uh, like 3 equations like this. If you solve this one, this is in ax is equal to b form. Now you apply the row eclan form. If you are simplified, then you will get uh, by back substitution, we can get the value of uh, a11 is here you see a12 I am getting a12 is minus 1, a13 we are getting like uh, 1 by 2. Similarly, a11 we are getting 5 by 2. So if we solve like uh, so now we have like uh, a11, a12, a13 and uh, go for uh, a21, a22, a23 means we have to use uh, in Roman letter 1, 2, 3, b bit uh, b that is 1b, 2b, 3b. If we solve those three equations then you will get a21, a22, a33 and uh, if we solve like uh, 1c, 2c, 3c you will get a31, a32, a33. Now, finally, if you return in the matrix form, then you will get this matrix. Now, I am taking 6 as a common, then I will get the required matrix. Okay, now? Now, you see, these solved problems, uh, in the video description, I am giving the link. You can download uh, these solved problems and you can verify with uh, your answers. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel.